Hello, Dr. Robert Morris fans. I'm going to show you how to have a herbal life and fruitarian life in Thailand and what I do here to stick to the dog, Dr. Robert Morris diet. Um, first, I'll go over the teas I, I get. Um, this is bale fruit. It's, a, it's about a dollar for a pack like that. It makes a real nice tea. Um, I can get cat's claw here, or cat's whisker tea. That's supposed to be a really good herb for detoxing your kidneys. Um, I've got this tea, dried laurel clock vine. I haven't looked that up. It's supposed to be good, though. Um, then we got uh, licorice stick. It's, they're like twigs of a, of a licorice tree. I boil that and make a nice tea. I also uh, make tinctures. I'll show you how I do that. Here's some star, star uh, anise. Cinnamon. And licorice slice. I don't know if that's the root or it just says slice, but it's licorice. There's some more cat's whisker. Um, there's, there's also this um, pea, uh, but, dried butterfly pea. It's very blue. You get a very blue tea. I've seen it, you can put it in rice too to make a blue rice. And it's very, very blue. <laughs> Oh, this is really good. It's a uh, green tea, chopped up tea leaf. Um, it's all in Thai, pretty much. Green tea. Uh, just love the flavor. Green tea has half the caffeine as, as uh, other teas, but it still has tea in it, or caffeine. In it. And I don't know how good that is, but I'm drinking it now. And it tastes really good. But what I do is I make my teas, and then I put them, I reuse these uh, bottles. It's real concentrated, so I add a lot of ice and then more water. This is this is uh, more of a cinnamon, cat's whisker, tea. I put all those, uh, all that in there. Very good. Uh, this is my green tea. So it's concentrated. Um, I also make, make a tincture here. Uh, I didn't make it out of vodka. I made, I made it out of a rice. Uh, it was actually this stuff. It's a rice alcohol. And it's only, I think it was like 100 baht, 120 baht maybe. Yeah, so it's like $4. It's supposed to soak it six weeks in a vat and co have it covered. And you're supposed to stir it and shake it every day. I did mine for four weeks, and it seemed to come out very strong. Very strong tincture. Oh, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Very strong. I think it's 90 proof, if I remember right. 40% volume. And I think you double that. Maybe it's 80 proof. It's burning. <laughs> you can also buy this tincture at 7 Eleven. Gangly Guile. Gangly Gal and Camlang Su Krong, some kind of herb. Uh, you can get that at 7 Eleven for, a, I think it's a dollar, 40 baht, maybe a dollar 10. It's pretty good. Kind of like root beer, but it, it also has alcohol in it too. I also get this uh, Tiger brand. I think it's Black Tiger. It's like a cough syrup. But that's a pretty good tincture to take. Okay, let me show you my fridge and show you what kind of fruit I've been getting. Um, oh, there's also, um, you can get the rose uh, flower tea. Here it is right here. It's called dried rose zelly herb. It comes out very red. Real nice tea. I drink that a lot too. Okay, let's get to the fridge and my the fruits that I've been buying. I got this papaya for 
think he bought it for 60 cents. It's very ripe. So I think I'll have to cut a lot of the overripe parts out, but for 60 cents, that's a good deal. Papayas are good, are ripe all year round in Thailand. And it's winter time now, but there's still a lot of good fruit at the market. Here is a, uh, this is a really nice one, dragon fruit. It comes in red and white. See, dang is red. See, cow is white. I'm kind of hooked on the white right now. Yeah, it's white. Oh, isn't that nice? Dragon fruit. <laughs> kind of a mild taste. I go to the, to the um, Muang Mai market, which is a big market, a lot of bulk stuff there. It's very fresh and very cheap, a lot cheaper than uh, other markets, a lot cheaper than they see. Very nice. 20 baht, 20 baht for a, a tray of these. At Big C, this will be 90 baht, which is uh, almost uh, 182, to, uh, about $2. But th this is only 20 baht, so 60 cents. So much cheaper at Mom Wang, and it's fresher and it tastes better too. And they peel it all for you too, which is real nice. Very mild flavor, like a gigantic grapefruit. Mm, very good. This is kind of like a must smelling. These were 10 baht, 30 cents. I got four of those. Not real sweet, but for 30 cents, it's not bad. Then uh, coconuts, get those, get your cleaver, and you whack them open. Very good. These were, I think, 15 baht, which is 45 cents. See, now at the other markets, this, this will be 20 baht to 25 baht. But if you go to uh, Muang Mai market, you can get a lot cheaper. Okay, and I got. Um, Three mangoes, really ripe, and they're sticky, so they're, they're going to be real sweet. Uh, three mangoes for a dollar. I got six of them. Uh, just found this. I used to buy this down south all the time. It's it's good all year round. It's called sapadilla or uh, la moot, and it's uh, also called brown a brown sugar fruit. It's really good. There's a seed in it, but really good. Very sweet. Mm. Oh man, really good. I throw it in my juicer too a lot for, to sweeten things up. I haven't had these in a long time. Ah, oh, fantastic. Passion fruit, I got this big bag. I think I paid 40 baht for that. Passion fruit's real good. I run it through my juicer or I just put them in the blender. It's supposed to be high in fiber. Just a lot of little seeds in there. But when I run it through the blender, uh, they get they get pretty ground up. It doesn't matter if you swallow them. They're, they're hardly even noticeable. Very uh, kind of a sour, sweet fruit with all, just a lot of flavor. like a. Orange juice just gone wild. Got a bag of songs. Um, oranges. I peel those and, and run through my juicer for my um, morning OJ. Yeah, those are really sweet and tasty. You can eat them, but they have a lot of seeds in them. But it's not that big of a deal. Uh, here's another way to get coconut. I get the coconut water. These are only 10 baht, 
30 cents. And if you get these at uh, Pound Payon Market, they're, you get a little, you, you get more, but they'd be 20 baht. Not twice as much more, but a little bit more. But this is a lot handier than smacking them open all the time, cutting them open. And uh, that's about it. This is pretty good grape juice. You can't get grapes at the market still and run it through my juice. So this is pasteurized, but um, you got to do what you can. Okay. Oh, you get some. Uh, you get limes are pretty cheap. These little limes. Oh, ginger and turmeric. I run those through my juice here too. Turmeric is very orange. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Signing off.